Hi folks, welcome to the last topic of the container con today. I'm Bo Chen from Alibaba Cloud, and I'm one of the maintainers of the Dadi open source project. Hello everyone, I'm Habin from Intel. I'm an on app commit and uh, a Dadi commit, and uh, now focused on cloud native to support uh, uh, Intel's features. Uh, it is our pleasure to show you our recent work in the Open Source Summit. This talk is focused on how to accelerate remote container image combined with Intel technology. And Javi and I will do the presentation in turn. So let's get started. The first thing I'd like to introduce is Dadi. Dadi means Earth in Chinese, and it has been widely deployed in Alibaba Group and Alibaba Cloud. The overlay BD of Dadi is a remote image format based on block layering. The concept of overlay BD is similar to overlay FS, but it managed to do things in a different way. In later slides, we'll explain why we choose block instead of file system. In the year 2021, we published two papers in Uzenix Annual Technical Conference. The first one introduced the basic theory of DAD, and the second one demonstrated a large-scale function compute scenario that enabled DAD. Next, please. In terms of open source, we used to incubate Dadi projects by ourselves. But since last year, Container D has adopted our two core projects Accelerated Container Image and Overly BD. The first one is basically a snapshot of plugin with the image converter and build kit. The second one specifies the remote image format and includes the implementation of a storage backend. You're welcome to check out these two projects, especially if you are a cloud provider and willing to accelerate image distribution for your customers. Next, please. A white block. I think the first and most significant reason is that block is simple. And simplicity almost always brings high reliability. Implementing a remote, bug-free, and POSIX compliant file system is challenging. While the industry has already had decades of experience on block, The second reason is that block requires less kernel dependencies. Some fancy FS implementations require high version kernel. And for overlay FS on the old kernels, it sometimes encounters the cross-layer reference problem, which is to say uh, modifying a large file is slow because uh, the kernel needs to copy the entire file to the upper layer. Another advantage uh, is from the perspective of prefetch. As we know, the prefetch mechanism is to warm uh, local cache, including page cache and file cache, to accelerate the container startup. Uh, Google has a StartGZ format, and uh, we know that uh, its prefetch is based on files. But for the block, because block IOs are much easier to capture and understand, and uh, uh, relatively easier to replay, and uh, blocks uh, has a better uh, granularity compared to the FS.
Besides, Dog also has many interesting features. For example, native uh, writable support. Uh, you don't need to resolve any disk space on host anymore to, uh, you know, for overlap as upper layer. And multiple file system support means that you can choose your own FS type now. I think some of the programmers may have encountered a problem where your code is working on ext 4 but code dumped on XFS or other file systems. By specifying your desired FS type in your own image, you are now able to eliminate this situation. What's more, Windows containers might become feasible, uh, considering there, uh, there is still no good replacement of overlay FS for Microsoft. At last, block could be integrated integrated into EBS, where we can sync the I/O into the underlay world to get uh, better performance. Um, after all these talks, I just want to say I'm not here to judge and deny the importance of overlay FS. Uh, it's absolutely a perfect solution to host local image service. But when things come to the remote image. I have to say, you may uh, you are suggested to consider a better alternative such as availability. Next, please. As you can see here, the dark boxes are the four major components of DAD. The first one, availability, is actually a log structured algorithm for merging image layers into sequential blocks. And TCMU is responsible for exporting a virtual block device. The third part is a caching library. It can cache remote image blobs in registry or P2P system with small granularity. The last one is a high performance streaming decompression module called ZFire. And we also need to calculate checksum in this module to verify the integrity of the file. Next, please. Our cooperation with Intel is just on this Z file. Why we want to accelerate Z file? Because for a traditional TAR image, uh, which is basically uh, OCI V1 TAR file, uh, the snapshot is supposed to download all the blobs and verify and decompress them together. And the container runtime will do random access on those local files. However, for a remote image uh, like overlay BD, the runtime is actually doing P reads on a virtual block device. After the transformation of overlay BD, uh, a bunch of HTTP render requests will be simultaneously sent to multiple blobs in registry. And finally, merge all reads into a sequential block. Um, of course, the last step, which is uh, here, uh, merging to the sequential block, it doesn't belong to the file but uh, belongs to overlay BD. In a word, it means that all the IOs are taken in flight. And it's not hard to imagine that DAD is very sensitive to IO latency. So we def definitely want a faster Z file. On the other hand, CPU workloads have changed. During the container startup time of a remote image, the workloads now consist of both checksum and decompression and user applications. So CPU uploading becomes meaningful. Next, please. Let's take a look at how we used to implement ZFire. By design, uh, ZFire has to be seekable so that the decompression or CRC calculation can be done in any position of the file. 
we choose the chunk size to be equal to the sector size of the block. We use LZ4 instead of gzip uh, as the compression algorithm because it's relatively faster than uh, gzip. And the CRC function is got from GCC built-in. Uh, we did this by enabling SSE 4.2 instructions. Then we see the opportunities to work with Intel fellows on the new incoming SPR platforms, uh, where we, uh, we've been told that we can use hardware to accelerate CRC and decompression. And uh, that's the CPU, uh, off, uh, CPU workload uh, will be reduced. So uh, let's uh, hi Bing uh, to give us more details about how to accelerate uh, Z5 by using Intel technology. Hi Bing, please. Okay, thanks, Timbo. And now I will introduce about uh, DSA, uh, how to uh, how to optimize the CRC. In DSA. First, we need to uh, know uh, is uh, Intel data streaming accelerate, uh, which is uh, accelerate building in SPR that perform the common data moving operation. The DSA and the CPU uh, connect with connect by accelerate uh, and uh, encapsulate, encapsulate inside the socket. You and you buy a stablet uh, CPU and you old buy by DSA. Uh, when when we use the DSA, we can copy uh, like DMA to uh, copy like DMA from network to memory. But DSA have an another additional function. It's he it can do uh, CRC. Uh, calculation. Uh, we can do some check for checksum. Uh, is CRC checksum is right or not? If not, if not right, uh, it will can be this uh, can be dropped directly and uh, reduce the memory occupation. If the CRC checksum is right, we are uh, copy line, copy copy dates from. A network card to the memory, and when we uh, transport it from network to memory, uh, we have other uh, function like uh, uh, this broadcast. Okay, uh, there DSA have four uh, operations: uh, move, fill, and compare, compare and flush. The move operation have four types. The first is more memory move, transport it from a source address, address to destination address. Source and destination region can be either in main memory or MML. The second is CRC generation. Generate CRC check them only transport it. The third is diff. Diff means the data integrate field check. If insert, strip, or update will transfer date. The fourth is the cast, which is copied the simulators to the destination location. The file is file memory reach with a fixed pattern. The compared operation have four types. In mem memory compare is field memory reach with a fixed pattern and have delta decoder create and merge function. The pattern zero detect is a special case of compare where instead of the second input bar, an eight byte pattern is specific. Pattern may be zero or anything. The last is the cache flash. Cache flash is very really useful to uh, catch uh, to evict 
outlines in a given address range from all, all levels of the CPU cache. Uh, now let, let, let us to see the DSA uh, internet, uh, uh, how it works inside the DSA. It, it consists of, uh, it consists of, uh, of several work queues and engine where the composition can be configured the work group configuration agents. Work queues uh, on device storage to contain descriptors that have been submitted to the device. An engine is a, an operate, operational unit. Any engine is in a group may be used to precise a described post to any work queue in the group. Uh, below the next peak, the next slide have an example of a combination. And each described to each the head of work queue is available to be dispatched by the group at a button to an available engine in the group. The button for each group, the button for each group dispatched the described group for the from the work queue in the group according to their priority, according to their priority. Okay. Now this picture, uh, this this slide, we have we have given one example about how to com combine the work queue and engine. For example, this group zero is comprised work zero and work one to engine engine zero and engine one. So engine zero can process the work zero and work one. Engine one also can process the work zero and work one. Okay, now let, let us to uh, see the software architecture. Uh, software have two uh, two parts. One is configure DSA, one is use the DSA. First, if we want to uh, configure groups, work queue and engine, we need to use the access the configure application. And after, after configure, uh, DSA, we need to, we, we can use the label access to configure or DMA to, to submit task to us. But uh, if we, if we use the label access to configure just one, just can, can one, one, this, uh, one task to DSA. If we uh, use the DMA, we can have two, have many third to submit task to DSA. Now, uh, after we use the DSA to uh, accelerate the CRC calculation, we have uh, access, uh, we have we have do some performance uh, test. This is performance the date. First, uh, we know, uh, as we know, uh, the CRC calculation are 10% uh, of inter -data calculation. And the way proved in CRC compute computing performance from this QPS to, to this QPS about improved five times. And this is one SPL, uh, this is one SPL core, and this is one DSA. And, uh, and after uploading CRC calculation, the CPU without any hour had to calculate Calculate the CRC. Uh, the current project status is uh, we have we have completely enabled DSA by using the labor access the labor access the config library and the tool and the push it to community in GitHub and also. We have uh, enabled DSA in our BD for CRC calculation. The code has been merged in our BD, uh, container D our BD. Uh, the user guide, we can, we can to find it 
in label access configure and DMA and all the BD that me fail. And uh, future work in Intel, we do we are doing optimization for data compression. Uh, performance uh, using QAT, which also an um, accelerated hardware for uh, SPR, means the server rapid, which is overloading decryption, decryption from CPU to QAT. Again, we improve the QAT part as a GFL, to GFL plugin, GFL will to save access layer on the line access the Java framework to access the QAT device. Okay. Next. Uh, thanks, Haibing. And having just said, uh, the depression acceleration is still not in Dadi, and uh, we're waiting for uh, his excellent work. And in terms of Dadi's future work, uh, Dadi, uh, first, uh, the first thing is to try to be adopted by OCI as one of the official remote image formats. And the second thing is to uh, try to be merged into a uh, kernel as a, a kernel module uh, as an equivalent, equivalent of Oberly FS. Okay. Thank you very much for participating in today's meeting. Any low, any low red kernel is is my in, in con, contact information uh, and with Chen Bo con, uh, Chen Bo's email. Uh, welcome to actively contact us. We have 10 minutes to answer questions. Welcome to actively ask questions. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much to attend this meeting. Thank you.